Hello everyone, this is Ethan Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So, uh, it's a little early. Kind of did this right after Ether Raids. I was doing my dailies like Arena. And then I got this score from random matches. I ended up getting plus 60 kills from practicing. And, uh, <laughs> we're awfully close to uh, staying in tier 21, kind of surprisingly. So I decided let's give it a go. Uh, first time, I'm gonna actually try for it. We have our arsenal of 705 dueling crests ready. We're gonna probably need it because our ceiling is uh, 746 as far as I know. Might be higher, might be lower, we'll see. Gonna be sniping for uh, 742 at least, so it's gonna be pretty brutal because the score I have right now is an average of I believe 740.4. So we're gonna be burning a lot of crests, and if we screw up, of course, that's gonna make things even worse. But this is the team before we get in. Uh, Nino just doing her thing, Dicky doing her thing, <laughs> Effie panic ploy bot, and if you are running. Quick repost because she's not fast enough yet. Unfortunately, like even with triple drive speed, ally support, and the rally, she only has 52 speed, which is not fast enough to double folks consistently. Unfortunately, have a dull range screamer there. Slaying hair, armored boots. Ooh, that's gonna be annoying. Um, yeah, that's gonna be really annoying. What do we do there? I think I want to get rid of these two guys first though. Uh, they're not running any sort of field buffs as far as I'm concerned. So we can hog the defense tile here. Alright, exactly what I want. I want to keep those folks at bay as long as possible. Uh, because Effie is going to be have to be bait. There we go, that's good. So far, okay. Um, there's no gale force on that, so I can just end turn. The arm will not one shot, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to burn ether here. Um, Sheena's coming around the corner. Big thing I need to do is just get Effie out of there and either bait with Tiki or uh, Nino. That's just basically the main option. And we do have our ether set up. Panic Ploy will hit, uh, what's her name? Fior. So we can uh, bait with Tiki here. There's Wary Fighter and such. So we can do this. And we can get Armored Boots to go in like that. Get a nice 28 in there. Uh, and since at this point, um, Sheena can no longer panic play, we can go ahead and use Quick Repost here to pick up the one round KO, and that is match one. Pretty simple match, uh, not too difficult. Alright, decent start so far, but it only matters if you can finish. That's really the big deal. Um, if you can't finish, your, all your progress up to that point is screwed. So we saw a 734 there. So we know for sure at least um, our minimum could be 734. It might be 732. That would make my ceiling 746. We have a 742 here. Have a male Grima, but he's running a uh, Vengeful, so we can bait stuff like that. Armor boots on this duo, so we're gonna have Tiki, uh... Actually, we need the... Mm, yeah. No. I don't quite know what we want to do here. Yes, do my best. Yes. This seems okay, because armor march is only on those buddies. Um... Yeah, armor march is only on you. Um... That defense stat though, jeez. Um, I'll already be right back. All right, we're back. I would just something. Uh, oh man, it's still there. Still a feeling of um, 
like blood or something kind of monk s but uh let's go ahead here and bait it's probably my best best option here that is not looking good yeesh uh 48 speed we can pick up that double we can probably get that kill it's gonna hurt a lot though so i don't like yes. that Do my best. you know of course murders Let's because go. she's a monster um Borders, please. so no armor march or anything yes. We're gonna do this. Use the defense tile to cushion the ether proc. And we can pick up the one round KO there. That's good. Problem is, uh, oh, that's good. Oh, wait, right, after Nino. Haha. <laughs> um, I think what I want to do here is just take out Murr. So I'm gonna bait like this. Move Effie down. Uh, so we can get more mobile panic ploy shenanigans. All right. Here comes Grima. Okay. Jeez, we actually do pretty well against that. Besides getting one round KO'd, of course. <laughs> um, if your arm gets pretty wrecked, what do we want to do about that? I think end turn, right? I want to get that panic play off, which will be quite beneficial. Oh, wait, I can't get the panic play off. What am I thinking? Okay, uh, big question is if we can get Grima to not get one round KO'd by Adult Tiki. He only has 89 res bulk. Uh, okay, so that really goes out the window. What if he's on a defense tile? Then he gets, um, what was that, 43, so 98? Yes. I think Tiki still kills. <laughs> uh, 98 is, man, oh, I have such a hard time doing this right now. Yeah, Tiki kills over kills by one. That's not an option. Okay, what do we want to do then? Debate with Nino, right? Okay. So we get the rally from Duma. He'd go in for 60. Obviously, can't one shot. It's 34. Um, we can actually precise calc this and get a kill with Fiorm after the panic ploy next turn. So let's check this out. Uh, we want Nino to have 61 attack tops, so Nino 50, 52, 54, 57, right? 60, so she's going to hit for uh, 52 damage. All right, Nino, do your thing. Close counter, 100% balance, and this is why you don't run Vengeful on Grima. That just doesn't make any sense. There's your 52, and uh, we can heal back up with <laughs> Renewal, because Renewal is 100% totally balanced. Now this guy with his bold fighter, yeesh, uh, that's all I gotta say. Can actually do quite a bit. Can we actually straight up kill? I think we can. So we're gonna go for it. Because of a uh, attack defense bond and ally support, cheese has been done again. All right, still not too bad. It's because we haven't seen many uh, green units that actually threaten Fiorm. Once we start seeing like Surters and stuff, it's gonna be challenging. It's still possible, but much more challenging, especially on some particular maps. Like that one map with four water tiles in the middle, and all that surrounded by defense tiles. Incredibly difficult map, uh, for sure. And of course, as expected, we just gotta burn a lot of crests for matches. 
There's a starter, but not high enough score anyways, so... Same deal. Baruka would be a nightmare. Especially with that Hackle Lantern. <laughs> you just never proc your specials. Um, there was a Hackle Lantern Sheena I had to deal with. Luckily, I could outstall that Sheena. But geez, that was annoying. Um, yeah, I don't know how many times I will go try and stay in tier 21. I have the crest for burning. Oh nice, 742. Okay, this is what I'm talking about, a hack of lantern Sheena. Uh, big thing though, we don't get ployed and we can bait. So those things are going to help us out a lot. Armor March on these two, definitely troublesome. Uh, Pala, we can definitely deal with. So um, I think what we want to do is just have Effie over there. Keep it flexible because once I commit Effie to one side, things don't go well. Um, that's a fact. <laughs> so, as you can see, they're starting to already gear up, so I already want to go ahead and split up the armor march using what Pella had, and so that's pretty good. Now we have Effie and uh, the Squendolin to deal with. We can go ahead and just break this end turn, it's fine. So now at this point we will get panic ployed and uh, it's a Barkut's Lance Effie. Do my best. Is Nino about to be that? Oh no, darn it. Tannen Boon saving uh, Gwendolyn there, which is not what I want. This is epic though. <laughs> um, I guess we can end turn again. I don't like that idea though. Let's end turn. We're gonna get a rally in here, that's why. All right. Do my best. This is actually fine here. Uh, Gwendolyn here. Yeah, Sheena and uh, Gwendolyn here. Hmm. Of course. Yes. Yes. There's no panic ploy now, so I'm going to do this and this. Get the rally there. And uh, Fiorm's going to proc the ether. Doesn't matter again because Sheena's got Hack the Lantern, so we just gotta outstall Sheena, which is gonna be pretty brain damage. Not gonna lie. Um, yeah, because there's there's literally nothing we can do there. I'm just going to straight up. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Let's do this. We can get Tiki to do most of the chipping for us. Do you work, Tiki? Alright, we take out Effie here. Uh, we're debuff, which is nice. That's good. Of course, Ether's coming in, actually. So, uh, a little suspicious. But we gotta keep uh, Sheena off the defense tile at all costs. So, I think we're gonna enter in here. Get hit by attack play again. And at this point, we do pick up the kill. So getting those mergers on Fuarm and having plus attack is really nice. Because if I was trying to do that with a plus zero Fuarm, who boy, that would be insanely difficult. Uh, 744 right off the gate, that's nice. I think Hagrid, that's nice. <laughs> um, big thing though is these two buddies are separated. Want to keep them separated as long as possible. So we're gonna. Do my best. That's not what we want to do. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Just keep it flexible. Uh, start migrating over there. And we'll lean uh, Legendary Tiki over this way. There we go, that's all we need. Guidance is here. So we're gonna have to use Quick Repost. Um, that's fine. We can just. And turn here. So the question is, how are we gonna deal with this uh, Halloween Kagero? Or not Halloween? It is Halloween, isn't it? <laughs> um, because we do not a lot because she's green. That's the big thing. Um, Nino can obviously do a tiny bit. We can get a rally off on this Fiorm, but we're gonna proc our ether, and that's not what I want there. 
Honestly, though, let's go for it. It seems like the best option right now. So we're going to go for that. Because we still have to deal with Legendary Tiki anyways. So I'm not too concerned about that. And it's a wary fighter, <laughs> Legendary Tiki. It's incredibly suspicious. Uh, but barely missed kill there. So that actually benefits us. Gives us another charge on that. Uh, this Kagero here with Bottle Juice Plus is unfortunately going to wreck our cooldown as well. So, uh... We basically have to convince Kagura that it's a better idea to attack from here than here, which I can, okay. I believe I can do by moving Nino here. So that's the plan. It might not work, but it does. So that's good. Orders, please. Can actually get a tiny bit of damage in there. All right. So now at this point, we just gotta run around and set up, I believe. Let's see. What kind of damage does Nino do? Actually, not too bad. It's actually good. Um, okay. We can damage control this. So, we don't want more than 49 attack. <laughs> okay. Uh... Is that, is that really? No, wait, she has Mirror Strike. We can use that to our advantage. 41, so we do not want to do have more than 53 attack, if I'm getting that right there. Orders, Let's do this. Do my best. Okay. Like this. Yes. So that's 50. And then, did I say 53? Let's double check Mirror Strike. Um... She's not one-shotting Nino any day of the week. Uh, Nino is going to have 53, so that's 12 times 2. So as long as I didn't goof anything, this should be fine. There we go. Nice damage. Kelks coming in. And Fionn picks up the kill. Ooh, that one's a little trickier. Still easily feasible though. Now we're going into our last match here. Let's see if we get memed last match. It's incredibly common. All right, you see Surtur and you're like, hmm, <laughs> I'm not gonna risk it. The main reason is there's so many maps with defense tiles in this rotation that if I do get into a match where obviously I'm going to get a Surtur, then I don't wanna take that risk because uh, I don't want to drop bonus kills like that. This Hector is going to be a giant pain. Um, the easiest way for me to handle this is Tiki. <laughs> for sure. Uh, this is double armor arch defense tech. Okay. Okay, this is really not good. Double Ignis sets. Uh, we cannot one run KO this guy with... Uh, Fjorm. So we have to split them up. That's gonna be tricky. Really tricky. Um, I think we can do it if we move Tiki over here like this. And uh, just get set up here. I'm gonna leave the block here because it's useful for um, stall, stalling one turn out. So that's not good. Um, I kind of want to keep defense tech to ground, but I don't think I can keep it around long enough for it to, for me to end it quickly. Um, that's the problem. So I'm gonna have to end turn here, and I move Tiki here to be a little more flexible if I need to run. And I'm probably going to have to run. Ooh, this is gonna be ugly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. No armor boots, res tactic, okay, okay. There's a chance for us to do this here. Uh, bold fighter, oof. Oh gosh, we kill? No, that is not good. We do zero times two right now. 
How much defense does this guy got? Okay. Gotta do a lot of damage calcs here. <laughs> uh, first of all, we cannot live in Ignis after that, so no thank you. We can do 23. Okay. Problem is, it's Raph, Ignis is going to be fully charged there, so uh, that's not going to fare well. Not at all. Um, yeesh. That's all I have to say. <laughs> can we use the defense tile somehow to help us here? Yes. Can we just leave Fiorma a defense tile and tank a Wrath boosted Ignis? Actually, it's not going to be Wrath boosted because he's not going to actually take that much damage. That's true as well. Um, Techie obviously lives that, yes. Kappa. Um, because, like, 45 defense on a defense tile um, is going to be 58. So the guy does negative 10 damage base, which gets negated by Berserk Armads effectively. And then the Ignis proc obviously does not do as much HP as Tiki's HP stat. I said HP, didn't I? Does as much damage as Tiki's HP stat, so, yeah. Um... How much the big problem is Tiki's more than likely about to double. So we got that problem. And then also we have the problem reciprocal aid here. <laughs> uh, so he's going to get a heal off. So that's kind of awkward. Do my best. So if we move uh, Effie out of the way, yes? Nino misses the kill by... Enough so that he's left at 1 HP. And so... Let's quickly uh, check... Uh, if we can actually do some damage to this guy. So Fiorm's going to have 62... 64... And then 67 from Tiki, so that's more than enough to kill. Okay. That's, that's not a problem. Problem is this guy. <laughs> um... Fifty-five. So we're gonna have forty-four, forty-six defense. Oof. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Oof. Um. Let's move Effie over. I know I want to do that. I know I can do this. Yes. Problem is uh. Okay. Let's do the, all the damage calcs, all the things. Just want to be sure. So, 55 attack going into Fiorm with that uh, 43, 45 defense. That correct? Yeah, so that's 10 damage. Orders, right? 43, 45. Yeah, 45. So, 10 damage. Fiorm counters with a 67 attack Ether proc. Unless Fiorm attacks first. Oof, as well. <laughs> um, so I just have to check to see if she lives at full. Uh, this Fiorm would... Um, if Fiorm were to attack, then Fiorm would... This Fiorm would nuke her with Ether and heal back up. So let's just check damage. So it's 10 times 2. Plus... I'm probably overrating Ignis, honestly. Plus 35? <laughs> Ooh, wait, let me let me check that. That does not seem right. 31, okay. <laughs> 10, 10 times 2 plus 31, which is 51 damage. Ouch. That's all I gotta say. Uh, so let's check damage on this from this Fiorm. So, um... So, I'm just being careful here. It's last match, so 45. Um, so it takes 6. We're obviously gonna heal six off of Ether. So I think this is fine. Alright. Whew. And then uh Tiki here. Fiorm here for the kill. And enemy phase time. There we go, there's that. And there's that kill there. And we've done it. We've done it. First arena run, new personal best. Oh yeah, 3,776, and 
Not that many slots, but it's uh, trying to stay in tier 21, so we'll see how we do. Um, there's still a whole two days left, technically. Uh, it's more like a day and 15, 14 hours or something. So, we'll see if we can hang in there. I can re-roll some more. I have the crest if I really uh, need to, but... That's gonna be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Ether Dragon, and hope to see you all next time. Bye.